I used to think I got good arm pumps until I started occlusion training. fun video because it's arm day. We haven't done arm day in a while because we've been powerlifting, um, but our friends over at BFR uh, Training sent us these fantastic occlusion bands. So occlusion training, otherwise known as blood flow restriction, is something we've dabbled with in the past. It's fantastic. Originally it was used for rehab purposes, so they use this to kind of help injured athletes because the benefit of blood flow restriction essentially is you're restricting the blood to the muscle, right? And it's kind of pre-fatiguing that slow twitch, making you use those fast switch muscles. So you can really utilize that lighter weight, really get insane insane pumps, like it's crazy. Because of that restriction, you're kind of limiting it so it has less ability to lift heavier weight. So for me, I'm gonna be curling 15s and I'm gonna get an amazing pump like Kyle said. It's just a different ball game. So we were really excited for them to send us this. As you guys know, my calves are a little suspect too. So I'm gonna start doing uh, blood flow restriction squat training exclusively and do that until I can kind of heal up my calf and that'll be a fantastic benefit on top of all of that. Um, the reason we stopped doing it is it's so annoying to wrap the bands yourself. You need a buddy to come over and wrap you tight, right? Like you can see I'm already feeling it. Like look, it looks like I'm flexing. I'm not even flexing. It's killing me because these bands are fantastic. They have a little metal lever as you can see. You wrap them tight, you put them in. You have adjustable Velcro strap, put them in. The build quality on these guys is 10 out of 10. We wouldn't work with a company if we didn't think it was fantastic. I cannot speak to how great these bands are. It's a great build, you can do them yourself. If you guys want to go ahead and try these out after you watch the video and you see how sick they are and the pumps we're getting, it'll be first link in the description down below. Let's hit a set. I like to work at about 30% of my max. It's still a nice challenge, but it's still hard. This is a little different, guys. It's not so much can you lift it, like 60 pounds, something like that. It's can you survive it. It's all mental. It's just a different kind of pain. What you gotta do, get in this lip. All right guys, so these are very simple to use. You wanna put it all the way up here, the top of the bicep, bottom of the shoulder for arm training. So all you do is just pull it nice and tight. You want it to be at about 70% tightness. You don't want it to be too tight to the point where you can't even lift your arms at all. Um, and then just stick it back here. There's some Velcro, right? It's so nice and tight. Grab the other one and do the same thing. Bonus cool thing about this is it actually has numbers, so you can find your number and then use that every single time to make sure that you're creating consistency. I've used the knee wraps uh, before and it's just hard to know like if they're balanced or not, so we'll get started. It's time to get a huge pump, baby. <laughs> All right guys, so here we're gonna be doing three sets of 15 to 20 reps. This is absolutely brutal. You gotta be able to challenge yourself here. When you think you're done, you got five more, I guarantee it. We're gonna be keeping these on in between rests. Rests are gonna be 30 to 60 seconds, and let's crush it. Normal pumps are for chumps, right buddy? That's it buddy, 15 reps. Good control, you guys are gonna feel it. Best pump of my life. All right guys, and as soon as you're done, take a minute rest, take the bands off, restore the blood flow, and then get ready for the next exercise. All right guys, so here is the key takeaway. Uh, would I do this every day? Would I say all you should do is blood flow restriction? No. I like my typical heavy lifting. I like to challenge myself to get stronger. That's something me and Kyle are very passionate about. Big issue for us is we get so sore, so beat up, where we just come in some days and we're like, oh, like we don't know we can finish this up. Like I don't know if I can lift in my loads. So a great alternative is to have something like this, lift a little lighter, still develop, still get those pumps, still get that muscle hypertrophy you need, but you'll be able to do it without stressing your body out as much. So that's option A. Option B, you're injured, right? You don't know what you're gonna do for me like my calf. I, anytime I'm squatting over 400, it is killing me right now, I hate it. So I'm really excited to challenge myself with these for my squat, still kind of develop in a sense and just continue to go forward, continue to develop my legs in an untraditional way. Third thing is it just makes it unique, right? Obviously the gym gets very monotonous, it can get very boring, and to spice it up in a new, fresh, unique way and just get a crazy pump, even you know, you come in with your buddies, you bring your bands, you go, bro, try this out, they will be blown away. That's actually what 
We have an old blood flow restriction video too. I can link you that if you guys want to laugh. It's from a while back. It's like completely flip around of what our channel is. But I remember I'm like, Kyle, you got to try this. So we got him to try it. And he's like, ooh, I'm feeling it for the legs. So if you guys want more about the legs, you can watch that. It's not the best quality. I'll let you know right now. But yeah, these bands are great. We're really excited that um, we were able to get a pair of these and we're able to share you guys our link. So if you guys want, you can click that link, get yourself a pair. They're only $27 or $28. Uh, you'll help us out a little bit too. So it's a win-win. Hopefully you'll enjoy them. Let's crush the rest of this workout. <laughs> Five more so far. Oh, I think the hardest part is in between sets, just chilling. And your arms are already jacked up. You got these things on. The blood is just freaking jammed in there. Yeah, can you feel that? Can you guys feel that pump right there? Can you guys feel it through the camera? Holy. <laughs> really fits. <laughs> Okay guys, so I'm quickly gonna talk to you about the three common mistakes here with occlusion training. Number one, far too many people come in here trying to lift the exact same load they use for regular lifts. That is an absolute huge mistake and a no. Number two, a lot of people just don't like trying new things. They think this is gonna be bad for them or they think they're gonna look weird putting this around them at the gym. Trust me guys, it's not. Keep an open mind and be willing to try new things. Number three guys, some people just don't get the right contractions. We're using a lighter load, you wanna squeeze at the bottom. We're not rushing through we're not trying to get it done as fast as possible contract the muscle and get the most out of these exercises so uh, the gym is being changed up a bit there used to be a wall right here and now uh, it's gonna be extended mats are gonna be coming in there's back here you got a chalkboard wall which is super cool and rogue is being moody Stop, rogue. rogue do you need occlusion training Okay guys, so a couple more things I wanted to share with you guys. So BFR isn't actually a new technique. It's been used for years in Japan and in research dating back to the 1990s. And what it does is it entails occluding circulation of the working muscle. The objective of BFR is to occlude venous flow without significantly affecting arterial circulation. And this way blood goes into the muscle but can't escape it. So there are numerous studies out there, which is pretty cool. It's uh, been looked at by a lot of people well respected in the fitness industry. Brad Schoenfeld, Lay Norton, and all those guys. Um, so there's one study uh, simply stating that occluding blood flow to be ridden patients can prevent atrophy and weakness without performing any training at all which is pretty dang cool like that's actually what blood flow had started uh being used for and on top of that walking with blood flow restricted to the legs has been found to significantly increase muscle strength and size but guys the real hypertrophic benefits of BFR occur when it's applied in conjunction with resistance training there are numerous studies showing substantial increases in muscle growth when low load lifting 20 to 30 percent of your one rep max is combined with flow restriction so a lot of you guys are probably gonna be wondering what is the magic behind BFR guys basically it's believed that metabolic stress plays an important role in the process simply stated metabolic stress is the buildup of training byproducts called metabolites and is particularly prevalent when training is carried out in an oxygen limited state as seen when circulation is restricted. To sum it down a bit, we'll be creating signals in a manner that enhances protein synthesis and satellite cell activation, key elements that are needed for muscle growth. So I wanted to thank you guys all for watching this video. Please subscribe if you're new to the channel, if you learned something new, share it with a friend, hit that like button, and we'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out guys.